narcissists study you like a psychologist. Narcissists devote their time and attention to acquiring knowledge on their target. They look at you closely in order to observe and read you. And then they conduct a detailed investigation and analysis of you. They study the human mind and human emotions and behavior. Like an expert or a specialist in psychology. To explain why you behave in the way that you do. Because initially they don't understand you. So they have to learn your behaviors, the way in which you conduct yourself, or the way in which you act in response to a particular situation or stimulus, so that they can examine how you work or function. Because they view people as objects, appliances or machines. A device or a piece of equipment that uses power to complete a particular task. Because they lack effective empathy. So they're unable to share your feelings and situation as if they were their own. But they're able to read you at a cognitive level. While being unaffected by your pain or distress. Because they just see you as this thing that can be adapted for a particular purpose. A purpose that deviates from what is normal or usual. And in a way that is undesirable and worrying because narcissists typically share antisocial personality disorder traits. You may be fooled into thinking that they are seeking a relationship, but they're actually not concerned about intimacy or connection. They just know it's what normal people want. So they use it as a way to gain access to your mind and to learn more about you, but it's not what they're looking for. They're opposed and even hostile towards sociable instincts and practices. They do not want the company of other people. At least not in a way that provides friendship or enjoyment. Which is why they often disregard the rights of other people. And they show a lack of remorse. Because their disorder is characterized by a grandiose sense of self and pathological self-centeredness. All they're really concerned about is appearing impressive and imposing so that they can evoke admiration because they're self-absorbed they only care about themselves but they conceal this from their target and they act as though they're seeking a connection or a relationship when they're looking for supply and they see you as something temporary for recreational use, for their own amusement and enjoyment, rather than for a serious purpose. They project a false self to elicit a constant stream of attention and admiration from their target. But one source is never enough for them. They're never satisfied. So they're always on the hunt for new supply. The narcissist studies you to learn your behavior, but not just in the present moment. They need to be able to predict your behavior before it happens. They need to anticipate what you will say or do before you do it. Because they're always assessing the risks, possibilities and effects of your course of action. So they're always taking notes. And they're always looking for your weaknesses and vulnerabilities. Because they're seeking ammunition to use against you at a later date. In case the relationship or your supply stops at some point in the future. Even if it's not something that will happen for years or decades later. They're always looking for something to hurt you by in the future. So that they can use it to support their reputation. When the relationship goes from the appropriate planned or expected course. When they study you. They're judging your reactions as they press your buttons. Whether it's in a positive or negative situation. And they're looking to see if you will cooperate with them. And how long it will take until you lose your own opinions or beliefs. As they manipulate and gaslight you into submission. Until you start to change who you are to suit their needs. 
They're studying you to see how much training or teaching you will require. It may seem like they're building a relationship with you when they're actually assessing several things at the same time. You may believe that you're just getting to know each other, but they have a completely different mindset. They're assessing how easily you can be manipulated, how easily they can control and influence you to their advantage, and how much training you may need, which is just love bombing and grooming, to make you change your ways and submit to them, and to change into the person that they want you to be. They will subject you to information, and then they will gaslight you, and they will observe your new behaviour, to see how long it will take for you to change. but they will only spend time with you if it works out in their favour. If you quickly adjust to their conditions and you're able to be made suitable for a new purpose or use, then it's likely that the relationship will continue. But if you refuse to submit and you stand your ground, and you choose to keep your thoughts and actions independent from them, then it's likely that they're not going to want anything to do with you because they need you to lose your opinions and beliefs so that you can then take on what they want you to believe. The problem most victims experience with narcissists is that they don't even notice the red flags until it's too late. It's like the boiling frog syndrome because it's often under the radar and the relationship may even feel good at the beginning but this is actually the time when they are manipulating you and it's so subtle that you may not even realize it but it escalates with time and becomes even more harmful as the relationship develops. With time, the narcissist will tear down your opinions, or they may just fail to acknowledge them. And they will target anything. Nothing is off limits to a narcissist, unless they decide that it is. Otherwise, they will use tactics to make you change your mind, until you eventually stop speaking. You stop expressing yourself and you stop caring about the things that you used to care about. Because they're teaching you to become less than who you are, they're gradually changing your personality and character. Because they're the only ones who can be important. One day you wake up and you realize how much you've changed. You realize that you're not the same person that you used to be. You have memories about yourself and you wish you could go back to being that person because back then you felt powerful. You felt like you were in control of your life. You had goals and dreams. You had plans to accomplish things. You were full of life. But then something happened and your life changed direction into a very different path. And now you don't know how to go back to being the person that you used to be. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Share your thoughts in the comment section. Hit the subscribe button to receive the notifications. If you would like to support the channel, you can donate at paypal.me slash survivor. 
you can book a one-on-one -on -one with me on my website. It's narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.